Okay. Um, lagi ka dapat na mag-ipon. Di ba yan yung lagi ko sinasabi din sa inyo? How are you going to stand alone in your faith? How are you going to grow in your relationship with God alone? Can you tell us something about yourself? Oh, can you tell us something about you? Ah, okay. So, I am Ruth Adriano. I am, uh, I am currently residing at Kinabigan, Pinamalayan Oriental Mindoro. I am uh, teacher one in Kinabigan National High School. Actually, I am also a grade 8 coordinator special activity assignment and I am major in mathematics. I, have, I am the only daughter of uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mariana and I have three uh, brothers. Okay, so how would you describe yourself? Um, how would I describe myself? Um, I am a simple person. I do appreciate little things. And I love music. I love music. Uh, in, even in dancing, in singing. Um, so, with, in our lives, we've met so many, so many people. So, um, who was or is the most in, influential person in your life? We do have um yes i do have many influential people in my life first and foremost are my parents um they taught me so many things and when it comes to my job um i have this uh, former teacher um way back in grade eight i think i uh, she became my inspiration. She influenced me in uh, in teaching, and she boosts a lot in me, most especially in dealing with mathematical problems. That's why I uh, confidently took mathematics as my major because of her. Wow. Um, tell me about some uh, a time when you didn't know that that you would make it or something that you you experienced something and you didn't know that you would make it to how um kapag kasi next uh, akala mo kasi kapag na kapag tapos ka na sa teaching na may important year course mo alam akala mo kapag tapos na doon, madali na lahat. Ay, may makakapag-trabaho. Wala na, makakapag-trabaho na sa family ko. And then, uh, actually, after ko mag-graduate ng college, I umasok ako sa private school for about two years and I decided to uh, apply in public school. And that moment, dun yung time na parang hindi ko na alam kung ano. Kasi uh, it took me a year without substitution, wala lang, puro panalangin lang lang. Kaya, andun yung doubt, andun yung, andun yung takot na uh, ano yung kumakarapin ko. Pero, andun din yung, ano, and, marinaw yung um, sinasabi ng Panginoon na maging kaya ko. And then, um, in 2018, yeah, one, uh, after that year, yeah, na hindi na ito. Pakabuti po ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. So, the next question is, what do you value the most in your life and why? Okay. So, so, I do have many things that I value. Kapag sa person, of course, I value my, my family. Pero kapag uh, something, I, I think that is my spiritual life. Siyempre, kailangan mo mag-grow. As a Christian, Ayan yung pinaka-priority mo ay how you serve Jesus, how you obey Him, and how you grow. So, thank you for your answer. And the next question is, what were the most important values you wanted to teach your family and your loved ones? Um, my, the important thing I would like to teach them is to 
no Jesus of Moses. Yan yung pinaka. And uh, by product na lang yung iba ay yung patients, kung sumunturo at silang, lalo na yung mga kapatid ko. Uh, lalo na yung kasi millennials sila ngayon. Yung, um, sobrang hirap nilang mag, ano ba yun, parang hirap na hirap silang maghintay ng sobrang talagang. So, you own it. Pero by product na lang yun. Once you know your Savior, once you know Jesus, everything will follow. Every, every important value will follow. Um, so, nasabi niyo po sa amin na ikaw is, ikaw ay teacher na and may trabaho na ikaw ngayon. So, the, the question that I have is, do you like your job right now? Of course. Siyempre. Um, no una, nung no, nasa, ano pa lang ako, nag-aaral pa lang ako, talagang ano, uh, nag-univate ko pa kung alin ba talaga yung gusto ko. Actually, teaching is my uh, least priority. Hindi <laughs> ko naman talaga siya. Pero uh, as we go along, yun nga, sa teaching sa private, and then ngayon, pa three years na ako sa public, syempre, of course, minamahal ko. So, um, but what was your dream job when you were Ayan. So, ang teaching kasi, sabi ko nga sa iyo, least ko na siya. Gusto, ang pinakagusto ko talaga yung architecture. Uh, kasi, uh, nung ako yung high school, hindi naman ako ganun ka ganunan. Actually, uh, pinapadlaban sa mga ano, sa mga poster making, pero uh, I do love art. Ano ba yun? Yung pag tumitingin ka sa isang kwarto, nag i-imagine ka ng sarili mong design, sarili mong uh, structure, ganun. Kaya siguro nagustuhan ko ang uh, architecture. Pero, uh, since panganay, I mean, ayaw mapalayo sa pamilya, kaya teaching and, and ano. Kasi yun ang hindi nandito sa mga. Kasi po sa Manila sana. Oo, oh, oh, sa Manila sana. Kaya sa panganay, babae, yun na. Ano yun na. So, um, how do you handle stress and pressure? <laughs> Since you know me well, I'm not good at handling stress. You know, naman. Hindi ako ganun kagaling. Talagang, kita-kita mo, nagbabago talaga yung aking kutsura. Pag natin siya, pag sobra na akong stress, sobra na akong, minsan nga, dumarating pa sa point na ano, anxiety niya. Pero, um, Kapag, kapag pala pinaparanas ka ng Panginoon sa ganang mga paulit-ulit na mga stress, you will learn how to overcome it. Uh, by prayer. By prayer lang. So, kasi uh, hindi mo kasi hawak mo eh. Hindi mo kontawa kung kailan ka mag-ibobombarded ng mga maraming mga bagay. At hindi mo kaya kung lahat din yun. So, yung mga bagay na hindi mo control, syempre, dun sa may control na lang sa may kakayan. So, true prayer lang talaga. Yeah. Sa iba lang po siguro, kagaya ko, kapag ganun. O, oh, may nagkapag ka rin sa akin na iba na kapag stress sila at may pressure or mga potero, gusto nila yung meron silang kasama na kaka-fellowship, mga sishira nila. So, siguro maraming part din sa iba na matutulungan ka ng ibang tao sa mga... Ako kasi, na, alam mo naman ako, eh, pagka-introvert yun ako, alam mo yun, yung parang... Um, maganda rin naman talaga. Maganda nga tayo siya. Mas pinashare lang. Kaya naman kami kasi yung mga introvert. I mean, mas ginugusto namin sa amin na lang. Para hindi maging burden sa iba. Pero sabi nga doon sa Bible, diba? Uh, carry someone's burden. Kasama mo siya sa panalaan. And then, prayer and the worship. Alam mo yun? Yung, yung product na, alam mo yung sobrang at least ka. Na kahit na stress ka. And then you will hear a song in a spring. <clears throat> and then, yun, yun ano lang, no way. It is about the pandemic that we're experiencing right now. So, during this pandemic, ano po yung natutunan niyo sa buhay niyo? At yung, yung pinakang magandang bagay na siguro na na-realize niyo ng mga panahong ganito. So, ano po yun ang pwede ko makishare sa amin? And then, ano yung pandemic, di ba? Hindi naman natin inaasahan. Yes. Hindi natin inaasahan talaga. Sobrang, 
It's a 360-degree turn. Talagang kahit kami sa teaching, sobrang, ano, sobrang kami naninibago. Lahat ang naninibago. Pero ako personally, marami pinuro ang pangalaman. Uh, for this, gumawa tayo sa ECQ. Ang ECQ ang nagturo na how, how are you going to stand alone in your feet? How are you going to grow in your relationship with God alone? Kasi wala kang kasama eh. Bawal yung uh, social, bawal yung gathering, this, uh, may social distancing, ano mo yun? Yung dating uh, ini-enjoy mo noon ay parang pinagbabal mo ngayon. And then, ano pa ba? Spiritually yun. Tapos, uh, financially, of course, tinuruan doon, parang pinapakita sa inyo Panginoon na by once na, kaya kong kaya kong ano yung lahat, i-hold lahat. Yun, siguro ano rin, uh, lagi ka dapat na mag-ipon. Iba yun yung lagi ko sinong sabi din sa'yo. Na ano, mag-ipon. Mag-ipon. Kasi not all the times are sunny days. May rainy days lagi. And just like an aunt, you must always prepare. Ayun. And then, of course, it taught us na to value our family more. Yes. Yeah. Maraming spend ng um, time sa family nila. Yes, so... <laughs> hindi pong sa bahay lang pala. <laughs> hindi pong lahat na ginawa. <laughs> hindi pong hindi mo pala ginagawa noon. Mm -hmm. Ano ba yun? Yung pandemic ay... Yeah. Hindi naman siya totally... Maraming stress ang pandemic. Pero sabi nga ay... Uh, always look at the positive side. Ano tiyo to sa iyo? Yung nga parang hindi ko yung na-realize na ano, di ba, na hindi pa rin nakakasawa yung pamilya. True! <laughs> ano, Pagsasilalo na kapag nagkatrabaho ka, na parang ano, dumarating sa point na, parang wala ka naman time eh, imagine, uh, lunes ang biyernes, 8 hours ka lagi sa work, tapos pag natin mo sa bahay sa prampago, itulog ka na lang, wala ka ng time sa amin. Yun, siguro, bilal dito talaga. Yan, yeah, so yung last po natin na, question yung what is your favorite bible verse and anong nagawa nito sa buhay mo and how did you apply it and how it inspires you to uh, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 it says that be afraid for I am with you do not be discouraged for I am your God I will start doing you and help you I will you up in my victorious life Paano ba nakatulong sa akin? Ako kasi yung tao, maraming fear. Uh, Siyempre, uh, maraming, maraming takot, maraming. Pero, ando yung lagi niyang paalala. Maganda yung paalala ng Panginoon. Para bakang, bakit sa lahat ng verses yun ang aking napili? Para it defines me, my character. Uh, I, am a, I am a person na maraming takot, kaya sinabi niya, do not be afraid for I am with you. Ako, mabilis din ako ma-discourage. Ano, mabilis ako ma-encourage, pero mabilis din ako ma-discourage kapag kunyari nakikita ko parang uh, hindi na umaayon sa gusto ko, hindi na umaayon sa kung ano yung dapat, mabilis ako ma-discourage. So, yun yung second na part, do, do not be discouraged, for I am your God. Ibig sabihin nyo, siya yung dapat kong tingnan, hindi yung mga tao na nakaka-discourage sa akin. I will help you and I will lift you up in the victorious life. Yun yung last part na everything that I did, dapat ay, uh, ang tawag dun, yung parang you were after his smile, you were after his uh, praise. Kasi at the end of the day talaga, ang Panginoon lang dapat mo i-please. Uh, I-claim mo lang yung ng victorious. Kasi victorious yung pangalaman na sinasari mo. Amen. Salamat po. How are you going to stand alone in your feet? How are you going to grow in your relationship with God alone? Paano rin, lagi ka dapat na naipon. Iba yun yung lagi ko sinasabi din sa'yo.